So, in my last video, we managed to copy and paste bits of code and modify it so that our program runs properly so that you can play sounds. Now, what I didn't show you is where to save your sounds. So, if I go into our connect dots user control folder, go into connect the dots user control. Within there, you have obviously got your resources with your pictures. That is not where your sounds go. So I'm going to go back. Go into the bin folder. Go into the debug folder. And all you do is put your wave sound in here. Because this is where the program runs from. If you're not a coder, all you need to do to run your program is just click on the application. Now going back to our program, I'm going to go back to the main window and I'm going to show you how you can add an extra ellipse into it, so an extra hand. Now this is going to be our left hand. So, down here in the code you have an ellipse this is your right hand. Now I want a left hand in now so all I do is just copy and paste that code and rename it left hand. So this will give you two hands now. You can also change the image to whatever you want. In one of my programs, I used a scalpel for the digestive system and I used a conductor baton for the orchestra. That, this is how I changed it. Just this bit of code here. Just the picture and I made sure it was in the resources file. So, now that you've added in your left hand, I want song 2 to play on the right hand and I want song 1 to play on the right so I want sorry I want the left then the right so if you go back to your code which should still be open scrolling down your screen go to Runtime Skeleton Frame Ready. You'll notice that I have one of my joints here, which is the right hand. Well, what I want to do is activate the left. So I'm going to change this bit of code here to left. And I'm going to delete my comment. I'm also going to rename this. So what I have now is one for the right hand and one for the left hand. Now if you look here, I have both pieces of code running on the right hand. All you need to do is change one to the right and one to the left. So if we go back to this so we can remember which one we changed to. Song one was the right hand, song two was the left. So let's go back to that. If I remove that, change it to left hand, it's as simple as that. You have one button that works on the right hand and one button that works on the left hand. Now if I run this now, you should see two hands in your soundboard. So there you go, you have two hands. Now if you wanted to, you could have every joint in your body on here, like the skeletal tracking. So watch this, this hand, this button. And goes over this button. 
Now it's quite quite simple once you get your head around. The type of thing you could do it is you could write a story on the board and read, read the story and hover over a button, kind of like the story books they used to read when they were little. So see if you can get in contact to me at lanky underscore b o i underscore a. That's my Twitter account, or you can obviously revisit blog and see contact me there.